One of the really cool features that Axo is bringing out to the entire DeFi space is the idea of programmable swaps. You'd be able to take advantage of their platform and write your trades directly into their interface using different strategies or trading algorithms that you may have come up with yourself. They've also implemented their own trading strategies on their platform so you can take advantage of what they have created and maybe start learning how algorithms work and how to best use these trading strategies to level up your trades within the DeFi space itself. This video will look at some of the basic strategies they have on their platform and implementing it for your own assets. Now I am using the testnet at the moment and if you've never used the testnet before, you'll need to load up your wallet with some test assets. So you can go to the Cardano faucet and find the details here. You can put in the environment as pre-prod testnet and then put in your testnet address, which you can get from your wallet by changing over to the pre-prod test network. Next, you need to go to the faucet to load up your wallet with a few additional assets so that you can trade with. In this case, I'll load up my wallet with a few book tokens. Now, before we start playing around with creating our own strategies and algorithms, it's probably a good idea to have a look at what they already have and play around with those as a base. So go to their website and click on algorithms. Here you'll be able to see all of the different algorithms that they have already created. Everything from DCA, dollar cost averaging, market with slippage, and a whole bunch more. The one that we'll look at here is stop loss market. So let's view this strategy and see how it all works. Now at a glance, this is all pretty confusing, but let me break it down for you so you can understand exactly what's going on. In the center of the screen here, we have our essentially our algorithm. On the left, we have our inputs. In the middle, we have some sort of condition that it needs to meet. And then on the right, we have the desired output. Now this is all created with the various variables that you can see on the left-hand side here. So we can see the left here is an asset, right is another asset, we have an amount variable that's required. We have a price, which works as a trigger for this particular algorithm. And then we also have time in this particular formula, which has a start date and an end date. On the right hand side here, we have its proof. And if we have a look at this proof, we can see its description here, match at market price once trigger is set. So this is what it's trying to achieve. So now let's try and take advantage of this stop loss market algorithm and deploy it onto one of our assets that we have. So here I, I can now click on preview and it comes up with all the different variables that I can place into this particular order. So let's give this one a name. So in this case, I'm going to call it book stop loss. Now earlier I did get some book tokens and now I wanna protect my position by selling off the tokens to uh, assets such as USD when the price of book tokens reaches a certain amount. So I'll give this one a description and now choose the various assets that I need for this algorithm. So on the left I'll use book and the right I'll use one of the stable coins. In this case I'll use IUSD. Now I can choose the amount of book tokens I want to protect in this stop loss and in this case, I'll go for 100%. Now, the next bit here is the stop loss trigger price, and I need to know the price of it on the market. So let me just check the price at the moment. So here I can see the price now is at 13. So I'm gonna set my stop loss at 12. So if the price drops to or below that amount, it will execute the order. So here I'll type in 12. Now the time to force is a really interesting option here in that I can choose various time periods to protect this asset for. So normally I may wanna just keep this good until canceled and then I can just manually go in and change this at a future date. But here I can also set it for a week, a month, or even to a particular date in the future. And that will allow me to protect my assets for that amount of time until I know everything is good in the market. The last bit here is reserved credits. Now you do need to have some reserved credits in here to execute these orders on chain. So it's always good to go with the recommended amount and at the moment I've set it at 12. So everything looks good there and I will continue with adding funds. So my wallet comes up asking for me to sign the transaction. There we go and I can see it's sending off my book tokens as well. And there it goes. So now my stop loss, my book stop loss is on chain and ready to protect those assets as long as I have this particular strategy. So on this screen, I can see my parameters for this particular stop loss. I can see it's book IUSD, left is book, so it inputs the book token, right is IUSD, and it will end on the 30th of November this year. And most importantly here, it will trigger when book token is reaching a price of 12 ADA. 
Now, from here, I can do a few things. And firstly, I can withdraw my funds and I can remove my stop loss from this position. But I can also modify this particular position in the stop loss. So you can see here, this is my current positioning. And if I had more data here for this on the test net, I'll be able to actually back test this to see when this particular algorithm would have triggered. This is really useful so you can see if you actually created your algorithm or if you're using it correctly. Now that was a really brief overview of how to use the algorithms within AXO. I'll be going through a lot more of the different algorithms, get a better understanding of what each one is, how it works and how you can implement it into your trading strategies in the future. I'm really excited about this platform launching and upping my trading knowledge as well and taking advantage of all these algorithms and strategies that other people have been using for years to make the most out of their DeFi experience. If you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell. Let's level up together and get the most out of our trading experience and bring Kadana to a whole new level. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano.